We have all come across those accounts that are so beautifully done you end up scrolling to the beginning of their profiles just to see it all. That's the goal, isn't it? To create an Instagram profile that keeps people coming back for more and hitting that follow button. But how do you accomplish this? Well, a great branded Instagram feed isn't just about great captions, although those are important as well. You need to make sure your pictures are of high quality and fit the aesthetics of your feed. This is where your brand style guide comes in. Creating one for your profile is important so that you and any of your staff are all on the same page when it comes to the look and feel of your brand. Now let's go through the four components to the perfect style guide. The first one is composition. Composition refers to the placement or arrangement of visual elements. This means making sure your photos all work together to tell your brand story. For example, if you were running a lifestyle blog, you wouldn't want three photos of yourself side by side. Instead, you would want to break up your feed with other images such as food, lifestyle action shots, or maybe some scenery. This way, the composition is broken up and kept interesting. The second thing is color. So picking out a color palette is very important to keep your feed looking consistent. This doesn't mean you have to stick to one color. It just means you need to have a familiar feeling throughout. For example, in fall, you could stick to more oranges and reds, and in winter, you could stick to more blues and whites. When using these different color schemes, make sure that they still have an overall look and feel that is the same. For example, some feeds are very dark and moody, and some are more light and airy. Keep this in mind when incorporating these seasonal colors. The third thing you're going to want to think about is fonts. If you're going to use text elements in your posts, it's a good idea to stick to one or two different fonts that are consistent with your brand. This means that they match your website or other marketing materials. The fourth thing is filters. So make sure you are sticking to only one or two different filters for your Instagram photos. Using a different filter for every post can quickly make an Instagram feel disjointed. Now that you have the four components of your brand figured out, you're going to need to, a way to organize your feed so you can see what all of your posts look like together. You could do this manually by placing each image in a grid on Illustrator or Canva, or you can use a tool like Later or Planoly, like I do. By using a tool like this, you can save time and drag and drop your images on the screen until you find an aesthetic that you're looking for. Another great thing that I love about Later is that you can save all of your pictures on the app itself and schedule your Instagram stories. These two features make it e easier to stay consistent and on brand when it comes to your Instagram stories. I can't wait to see how your brands come together on Instagram after implementing these components. So drop your Instagram handle below in the comments so I can check out your profile. My goal is to help all business owners take back time in their business and reach their marketing goals by implementing strategies that work. So if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more weekly videos.